All right. Here we go, ladies and gents. Welcome to my very first summoning for a character in Pokemon Masters. It's going to be super fun. So thanks so much for coming. My name is Abdallah, and we are going to spend a lot of free-to-play gems in order to get Cynthia and Garchomp. Thanks so much for watching. Give me some good luck in the comments. Show me some gems. Show me some four-leaf clovers. Whatever you got. It's going to be pretty fun. So let's jump on into it. In case you haven't seen, if you go over to the news area, you can see that there is a Poke Fair Scout. And if you guys have not downloaded Pokemon Masters, make sure you guys do so. The game's super generous, and uh, there's a lot of things that are, um, you know, really good about it right now. There's a lot of new updates, there's a lot of new content, so really excited for that. Uh, before we get started, I'm noticing that my webcam's uh, acting a little up, so allow me to disconnect that and reconnect it in two seconds, and then we're gonna get going, man. I'm ready for this, dude. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Disconnecting that, reconnecting that. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better and done okay cool well yeah i'm ready let's go uh so yeah click on news you guys can see it over there go over to shop and then click on sync pair scout and then you're gonna see cynthia right over here it's gonna be pretty epic now uh you guys can see that we have forty six thousand gems here now i've not really spent i've kind of pulled at the end of like the episodes that i record but that's really it that's all i've done and now it's time to get this character. So what's so good about Cynthia and Garchomp, you may be wondering. Well, I mean, other than Cynthia being like a boss character in the main Pokemon series, which is the main reason why I want to get her, um, we've got her Garchomp over here. And once you use your Sync move, uh, it turns into Mega Garchomp, which is a little bit stronger. Uh, you got Stomping Tantrum, which is a 44 power physical attack. And yeah, the power is doubled if the user failed the previous move. I don't think that's going to happen too often, but hey, it could. Um, Earthquake over here hits everyone on screen for 100 power, 100 accuracy, which is really, really powerful. You've got X attack, the ability to boost yourself up four stages, which is really good. You've got this match is too fun, raises the speed and critical hit rate. These stats are sharply raised when the user's in a sandstorm. So if you have another sandstorm teammate that's putting up the sand for you, you're going to boost up your speed plus two and your crit rate plus two if you use that. Passive skill is hit and run, occasionally raise the Pokemon speed after it uses a move, and of course, Surging Sand uh, powers up moves in a sandstorm. Uh, whenever we are uh, Mega Garchomp, the Stomping Tantrum turns into Slash, which is crits land more easily, so that's also even better, uh, which is uh, with the help of Ground Shift. So I'm really excited for this character. Um, the only weakness is going to be Ice, and it is going to be a, uh, a really, really strong attacker. You can see the max stats on board. At level 120, you've got 397 attack stat. You also have, uh, yeah, 325 speed, which is really good. So, um, yeah, yeah, really, really excited for it. Uh, so let's take a look at the offering rates really quick so that you guys get an understanding of what the gems equate to. Every pull is about 300 gems, and right now, in order to get a 5-star character, you have a 10% chance of getting it. That's not a 10% chance of getting Cynthia, it is just a 10% chance of getting a generic 5-star, which is pretty decent, I would say. In order to get Cynthia, the main banner unit, you have a whopping 2% chance. All of you guys that come from my Mario Kart Tour videos, you know that spotlight characters are 1% chance. So that's double the odds here on a DNA game. That's pretty good. So there's a lot of characters that are very good in here, such as Chris and Totodile, Brendan and Trico, a Blue and Pidgeot, which I don't have, Grimsley and Leapard, uh, Phoebe Dusclaus, Olivia Lycanroc, Karen Houndoom. You know, all these five-star units are really, really good, and I don't have them, so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, I did miss out on the Rosa, the Holiday Rose and the Holiday Seabold, so I mean, I was saving up for these two. And if we do end up getting... Uh, Cynthia, that's gonna be awesome, and then uh, maybe we'll use the other gems for Lance. I don't know. Lance is actually pretty good. I like him too. So anyway, without further ado, if you guys are ready for it, show me some... I don't know. Show me some gems in the comments. Let's do that. A gem emote. Let's do it. Yeah, Cynthia is really good. I would definitely say. Especially if you're looking to just boost up your, your entire roster, now is the time to do it. So, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Gems, baby. little preview okay mega garchomp with the earthquake striking lucario for super effective damage my goodness the world explodes in on itself okay here we go 
Let's hit it. I'm excited for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay, so before we do so, I want to say thanks to you guys for watching and supporting the series. And of course, uh, I want to see how many gems you guys think it's going to take in order to get this character. We have 46,000. You can say Cynthia at 13,000. Cynthia at first 10 pull. I mean, we're going to be doing 10 pull scouts. Uh, there's no difference in doing a singular pull or a 10 pull. There's no value in it, which is kind of weird. I'm surprised how DNA kind of missed that. I mean, you usually do like nine pulls for the, you know, 10 pulls for the price of nine or something like that. But anyway, do your uh, your predictions in the comments and we'll look at it a little bit later on. Here we go. So this is going to be 46,000 non-paid gems, free to play gems. Let's hit it. Uh, yeah, so we just dropped 3,000 right now. And remember, my roster is pretty bare. I use just the free-to-play characters, and I've done a couple summons here and there at the end of episodes, but I haven't gotten, like, a five-star from a summon, so this is going to be pretty exciting for me. Yo, I'm thinking at least in 10k. Within 10k, we should be able to get Cynthia. Okay, well, that's Roxanne and Nose Pass. Oh, Whitney and Miltank. Okay. Cool. I do like Mega Beedrill. That's... He's very frail, but he's good. Crasher Wake. Okay, these are not five-star characters at all. Okay, I've seen people use Candace against Lance uh, on the very hard mode, so maybe. That's kind of cool. Okay, Rourke. Uh, I kind of use Brock for my rock type attacker, you know, like the Cygna Suit Brock, so I don't really know how Krenidos is. Marlin and Caracosta. Alright, Bruno, I like, I do like Machamp. Machamp is really good fighting. Let's go out and look for never before seen Pokemon. Oh, dang! I was looking for a good water type attacker, and this is exactly it. Okay, hey, dude, we got our first five star. That that's actually really good within a ten pole. I am Bryson. I'm known as the Ice Mask. Okay, yeah, really excited. Uh, we got four new characters. Uh, we've got this Chris and Totodile, which is something that I've seen a lot of people use. Um, it can evolve into Feraligator, which is pretty great. And it's got the ability Water Shift. So all of its normal type moves become um, water type moves. So that's actually really good. Especially with Mega Kick. Uh, Mega Kick's power is like 167. And that becomes water type. So that's really cool. Pick up the pace. Sharply raises speed. And guarantees a crit. Uh, X attack to boost your uh, own stats. And then Waterfall has a chance of flinching. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Chris and Totodile is a good pull. That's really good. Okay, so that was our first 3,000. Let's pull another one and uh, let's see exactly what we get. Thanks so much for watching. And Chap Chapstick with a five-star emote in the comments. You know what? That's what we actually need. So let's do that. Let's change it up. Let's do five-star emoji in the comments, and that's all I want to see right now. Let's let's start thinking about it. We got to get Cynthia. That was like a little practice run, but let's go, man. Let's do it. This is actually really fun for me. Because I haven't really made, like, a little pull video for this. Five-star emotes, just like Volcanic Wolf, H. Fenton, Neon Blazing Gamer, let's go. Rocking Fox, J4NBO. Alright, we got this little one. J. McLean, King Mart. Alright, Liza and Lunatone, that's kind of cool. I have them. I got this dude already. Wolfric and Avalug. Oh, dang, that's my second Agatha. And Gengar. I like them a lot. Who's this? Isn't that uh, Koga's daughter or something? Koga's niece? Oh, I don't remember. Janine. <laughs> He's got like beard hairs that go out to the side. How is that possible? Marlin. I focused really hard and got stronger. Okay. Who is Hello, my name's Cheryl. 
I'm a Pokemon trainer. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Who's Cheryl? Is she from like the anime or something? <laughs> With a blissy? Feels like I've grown a bit. I wonder if I'm getting buff. <laughs> I have no idea what Blissey does. Someday I will be able to soar through the sky. What generation is she from? Alright, well, we got a couple new people. I'm more curious about this Blissey. What does it do? Flamethrower, hyper voice, all out of patience? Restores an ally's HP, sharply raises defense. Special attack all, flamethrower, hyper voice, no additional effect, passive skills, healing hand, occasionally removes status conditions. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm okay. Do I need a fire type attacker? No. Alright. Okay, so here we go. That was, that was not so great with 3,000 gems, but like, my sync points are 60 out of 400? Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Guys. We need some good stuff. Come on, baby. Five star emotes in the chat, let's go! Okay, this one has to be it. Like, we have to get it now. Sunken cost, am I right? <gasps> Okay. Cool. That that's a Salamence, I guess. I mean, that's a wrong dragon, but I mean. Alright, oh, sorry, Clay. Not a big fan. Oh dang! What? Come on! Thanks, everyone. No. No. Is that okay? So does every five star summon have that like water animation, or is it a different animation? Like, I already got Chris and Totodaw. I don't need, like, a second proficiency on Sync Move. I don't need this old man and his big scissors, either. He needs to use that scissors for his long beard hairs. That's what he needs to do, you old man. No, we don't like Marley and Arcanine, either. Or this little one. Oh, who's this? Hey! The Kalos. Interesting. Look at this guy. I remember him. Um, yeah. Hey, I'm Brawly, the next big wave in training and the leader of Duford City's gym. Nice to meet you. Okay, cool voice acting. <laughs> Great, I did it. Uh, okay. Well, we got some four star units. I mean, I'm curious of uh, King Shield over here. King Shield, user takes defensive posture. Using this move again will make it leave defensive posture. No other actions will be taken. It nullifies moves that the target used while it's in defensive posture. Can you straight block a sync move? So it's just like in Pokemon uh, main series, on guard. Drastically uses the crit rate when in blade form. Dude, that's actually kind of cool. But like how often are you going to use a uh, stance change? How often are you going to use a steel type against stuff in the game. I don't know. Here's a dragon Pokemon. Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, hard to starboard. Uh, X special defense, all passive skills, terrify one. Okay, so it's got intimidate. So that's pretty true to the main series. That's great. And then I don't I don't necessarily need another fighting type Pokemon. I don't even know if this uh, Makahita like, evolves or anything like that. It's got potion, which is kind of cool, but... Guys, I don't know, man. We need to get this Cynthia, dude. We need to get Cynthia. Come on, man. I've got an idea. How about we play this video 20 times? And then we'll automatically get Cynthia. Is that how it works? Then spin around in a circle. Put your phone upside down and then click on summon. Is that is that how it usually works? All right. Well, we got two Chris and Toto dials, which is interesting. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to use them. I kind of like Seabold with his like fighting and his water typing. But hey, you know what? Obviously, Chris and Toto dial is going to be like the better, uh, better set. So here we go. Here's another 3,000. Let's hit it. Thanks for coming. Lucky number four, right? Here we go. In. Come on. Come on, Cynthia. All right, Janine. Okay. 
smile on my face. Okay. You! These twins won't leave me alone. That's actually, you know, nose pass is actually a good, a good sync, sync set. Liza and Tate, keep on following me. And this guy. This is actually painful. It is actually really painful right now. Dude! Get Marlin and Caracosta. This guy again? Okay, that was really painful. Oh my gosh, that was painful. <sighs> that was four ten pulls. So that's, uh, what? 12,000 gems down the drain? Oh my gosh. Come on, Cynthia. Ouch, man. All right, well, if we get her, we get her. If we don't get her, then that's what it is. And I'm just powering up my current sync pairs. And I got Chris and Totodile twice, so that's kinda cool. Alright, man, here we go. Yeah, that was really rough to, to swallow. Here we go, number five, let's jump in. Oh my gosh, let's go. I wanna see like Brendan and Trico. I want like Olivia and Lycan Rock. Like, I wanna see some cool. Oh, that's good, right? I don't know. Are there different, like, intro animations that determine whether or not you got something good? Or is this always the same thing and I don't even notice it? That's how often I summon in this game. Whoa! Oh, dang! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Woo! That's it, baby! That's it! That's the one! Okay, okay, okay. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. We will absolutely take that. Cynthia, champion... A champion of the Sinnoh Pokemon League, I study Pokemon mythology. So that wasn't bad. That was like, what? 15,000? So if you guys said 15,000 at the very beginning of the live stream, then that's great. So now we can go summon for Lance. Or maybe we'll get another Cynthia. Like, I don't know. I want to get Lance, too. I think that Lance is amazing. He's been one of my favorite Elite Four members ever since Gen 1. So I'm, I'm really... Five pulls is really not bad. So that means that I have all these leftover gems that I could put towards Lance. So let's see what else we get over here. I would really like Blue and Pidgeot. Or like... Give me another 5 star, man. That's 10... 10 oh, oh. Okay. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, Lance's banner also has a 10% for 5 stars as well. So we're really not going to... Oh, well, we got some three-star power-ups. That's pretty great. I think I'm going to dump all those into Player and Torchic, to be honest, because that's just such a good move, uh, sync move pair. So this is really good. We got her. Ladies and gents, I think, what do you guys think? We should raise her out and max her out right now. Should we do it? I think that'd be really. Let's limit break her and let's get her going. All right, Stomping Tantrum, we've already talked to you guys about X Attack, uh, Earthquake. We've got this match is too fun. We've got the Earthquake of Ancient Lore, Passive Skill Hit and Run 2, Surging Sand, really good. Uh, then once you go Mega Garchomp, you get Slash, and then you get the passing um, skill of Ground Shift. So yeah, I think it's I think it's time. That was that was not bad at all. So let's see. There's another banner, uh, which is the Lance banner. Lance has the exact same offering rates, which is going to be the 10% and the the two percent in order to get Lance. So I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, let's just level up Cynthia right now, and then I think we'll just call it a live stream. We'll get the character, and we'll go from there, so I'm so pumped up for that. Shoutouts to all of you guys who have helped out with, like, all the luck boosting, am I right? Alright, so let's, uh, let's claim all my stuff. Maybe I'll get some more gems. No, I don't have any more. Uh, but now it's time to level up and unlock level caps for Cynthia. Cynthia, 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 I don't even know where you are. Filter by 5 star. And here we go. So, in order to get her to 55, we are going to spend 15 of these buff blends. I can do anything with my Pokemon by my side. Yes, you can. That's right. Beautifully done. We're going to go over here. We're going to spend 75 of the regulars, 15 of the silvers. I can do anything with my Pokemon by my side. Yes, you can. Okay, we're going to go 85. 
38 of the gold ones. That's not too bad. I can do anything with my Pokemon by my side. I can do anything with my Pokemon by my side. Ooh, big level 100. Here we go. I can do anything with my Pokemon by my side. All right, here we go. Limit breaking time. Check this out. I had just enough of these uh, like ultra buff blends in order to get her going. It's real good. I can do anything with my Pokemon by my side. Okay, so she is fully limit broken. She's unlocked. Uh, let's go over to do, do, do moves and skills. I can do anything with Pokemon by my side. All right, so we're gonna learn Earthquake really quick. This move will suit us perfectly. This match is too much fun. This move will suit us perfectly. Yes, it will. And then we're gonna go passive skill, hit and run. Surging Sand. This move will suit us perfectly. Okay. And then, yeah, she, I think she's ready to go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to level up. <laughs> Look at all of these manuals I've been grinding for just this day. Holy moly, man. She's going to be a beast. I don't even think I have enough. I do have enough. Oh my gosh, check this out. All right, I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Spent all of these resources for her, man. And we pulled through. So good. So how are you guys doing today? I can click on the button at any time in order to watch this, but anyway. There we go. So we have officially maxed her out, man. She is good to go. Look at those stats go flying through the roof right now. Get that attack up to almost 400 or past 400. I don't even remember. No, not yet. At Mega, maybe. Oh, yeah, baby. She's there. That's it. That's all my resources, man. Just for one sync pair, man. That's so cool. All right. So let's take a look. You can also do one more thing. I think you do this. You haven't won yet. I won't let such a fun battle end so easily. So you can. Well, you can. Yeah, you can do like 3D spin arounds for Cynthia. That's kind of cool. That hair, though, are you kidding me? I've never seen her hair from the uh, from behind. What in the heck? That's so crazy. That's like, if she honestly straightened it, it would go down to her feet. And I didn't know she was wearing heels either. Yo, check out those heels, man. Cool. I'm Cynthia, champion of the Sinnoh Pokemon League. I study Pokemon mythology. Do you? Together, you and your Pokemon will continue to overcome all the challenges you face. However difficult. You haven't won yet. I won't let such a fun battle end so easily. No holding back. We've become the perfect team. Little animations too. What are those things in her hair? A little smile with some teeth. Thinking, laughing, and then we can put the little bottom bar away. That's kind of cool. And you could like zoom in too. Oh man, check that out. I like this. This is like a new update, man. You could like move around with the models and go from there. All right, ladies and gents, <laughs> I think we're done. We only 30 minutes and we did the, the summoning. I think that was really great. That was that was so much fun. I don't think there's much to much to do with her other than just destroy some stuff. Um, let me see. So I got some more things general here. We got some level up manuals. So yeah, we have done some really good stuff with her leveling up. I don't have any level cap. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably increase her potential a little bit. 
with some of these like strengthening things. Boom, boom, boom. Like I've, I've got a couple of them. But I don't think I want to spend them on her just yet. I mean, I could. It's a lot. Just get her up 6 for 20? Whew. Proficiency. What would you guys do in the comments? Let me know. Would you guys spend your temporary gold proficiencies on her just because? I think I should, right? Like, those are pretty rare to use. And who else am I going to spend it on, right? Cynthia and Garchomp are just too cool. Like, I really like them. So, you know what? Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it, man. Would you guys do it? Who would you spend it on? Five star. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. No regrets, man. This feels right. Yeah, plus 12 additional boost. So now I gotta go grind out some ground gear, and then she's gonna be set and ready to go. So yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah, I love it. So that was great. I love it. I love it a lot. Increased potential. There's nothing else on that for increasing potential because I did that. Upgrading gear, level cap. No, we're set. We're absolutely set. So there's your team, ladies and gents. For Cynthia, she's in this. You haven't won yet. I won't let such a fun battle end so easily. All right, there we go. And then we're going to do a pose. Oh, you can't zoom in on that pose. All right, but you can do this. All right, anyway. <laughs> we're going to leave it at that. Guys, that's going to be it for the episode. Uh, what do you guys say? Should I take a quick break and come back with Lance? Should we go spend for Lance right now? Because it's a five... It's, it's a potential banner to get some new characters. And if it's a banner that you've been saving your gems for, a boosted chance of getting five stars is absolutely what you want. So let's do that. Uh, let's go try for Lance. And if we get him, then we got both the pair. And then I'll deeply regret not pulling for Rosa and uh, Holiday Seabold over there. But... Anyway, okay, so you guys are all subscribed, right? Make sure you guys do so. Click on notifications so that you guys know when we're going to go live. Give me like 15 minutes and we'll get this next live stream going. I'm really excited because I do want to continue spending these, uh, these gems that I've been saving up since launch. So anyway, super excited. We'll see you guys in a little bit. So don't go anywhere. Stick around, uh, hover around my channel a little bit and I'll get the next live stream going. Thanks again for all of you guys who watched this live. All of you guys who watched it post. Good luck on every single one of your summons in the comment section below. Let me know how many gems did it take for you to summon Cynthia? Did you guys get her? Did you guys not get her? Did you guys get some cool five stars along the way? I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. But that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it. And of course, if you enjoy having Cynthia. Hey, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.